Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to uh, Monday, the 25th of March. It's a very light drizzle out here at the moment. I think it's supposed to be like that all day. And uh, it's comfortable. It's, uh, what is it, 45 degrees? It's that spring type temperatures. Flowers blooming and stuff. The old war wagon rattling off in the carport there. See all the blooms? But anyway, set off to work. Still gotta get gas from the old war wagon. All right. 47 degrees, slightly drizzly. Got hit with a big rock. Right by that woodland bridge, the same thing. I mean, that is crazy. That it scares the whole big rock. Yeah, it's, it's pretty loud. It goes go bang. Can't see it now because the windshield is all wet. But you can see marks in the windshield. Definitely marked her. If it went through, it got me right in the forehead. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> anyway, Mama. Yes, I it's Monday fun day once again. Yep, she has rolled around. Yeah, she has a way of sneaking back up on us. I know. All right. Well, you have a wonderful Monday. Don't you work too. too hard, and I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Wonder what this here box is. The shipping girl got a little carried away and uh, opened the box. The Ascent Fusion. Look at that bad boy. Look at that thing yanked out of here for too long. You guys want to see a little bit of the, the box art here? Oh, yeah. That thing just looks so good. Same thing on the end. Let's just yank the cover off here. <laughs> I love their bubble wrap stuff. Looks like little cigar holders. And that's that newer radio that they introduced with the with the first ascent. Coming across, got some stickers and stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that thing! It's like a work of art. Hmm, all right, Let me dig her out of here right quick. Look at this thing. I wonder if we'll have a cool, like, iPhone sound. No, she's oh, sort of. She's pretty much silent. Oh, yeah. And that's the uh, the ready to run version of the Fusion. People are saying it's pretty much a Fusion SE, which is fine, this is a light truck. 42 kilogram servo, so, well it's running at a 7.4 volt, so it'll be basically a 35 kilogram, which is more than enough. People are saying it's, it's plenty. Anodized diff covers and they're thinner so that the steering link doesn't uh has more room to get a sharper steer out of it what a beauty that's something else i love the fusion logos on it Ooh, those are nice and soft Ooh, they feel nice and sticky too My Red Cat wheels never showed up. Of course, it could still show up. It says by the end of day, whatever FedEx deems end of. Oh, where did my Ascent Fusion go to? Oh, right, take it upstairs because I got a, my backpack and everything. I got to lock everything up. So, you know, I got the forks done. They're all 
off field. And surprisingly, the oil was very clean in there for for being a leaker. Usually, when the you got a leaking fork seal, it contaminates the oil pretty bad. But it came out looking like clean. And since then, they've upgraded to a full service. So, uh, yeah, that's valves, air filter, and everything. So this will be a big, big job. So I'll finish this up tomorrow. But first, let's go home and check out this Ascent Fusion. I'm super excited. Kind of bummed about my 2.2 Red Cat wheels not showing up. That's not Red Cat's problem. It's FedEx's problem. It was on the truck two hours before the Ascent was put on the truck. The Ascent showed up before I got here, and yeah, the, the wheels still haven't. Two separate orders. Anyway, going to bounce for now. It's time to roll out. Made it home safe and sound. We've actually did a quick goodbye. It was, it said it was going to rain in 15 minutes and not stop for the next several hours. So we went out there kind of in the rain. Did a goodbye. But see, this is a support for the box. So when if it goes upside down, you know, the bike, the bike, the model sits still. But it, it busted free. And the car was able to lay on its roof. And the roof is all scratched up. Now, I haven't tried cleaning or anything, but I can see I can see the scratches in it. You can see on the inside of the box, the roof. You hold it just right, you can see a shiny spot. I can't make it show up on this camera. But you can tell it was the car was riding inverted. And um, and there's nothing on the on the big box that it came in that says you know this side's up or whatever. So I'll use some plexus on it or something. See if I can get that to clean up. But I can I can see the scratches in it. Maybe it'll clean up. I was just showing you before I did anything. I noticed that when I was talking to you guys, but I didn't want to freak myself out much less. You guys stickers aren't sticking. That's very normal though. When they're not plastered down all the way. You gotta get those little Kelly's got those little little ball pin things you gotta run along. If you need to heat them up a little bit and, and get them to fill in because it looks like it's one sticker going all the way across. But other than body and the packaging, um I'm super impressed. Well they got our lasso down, even got the suspension completely bottomed out and zip tied. So let me get her out of the box here. Man, I tell you what, this thing is like a work of art. There's no way they can sell this at the price point that they do. I see you guys all freaking out velcroing the batteries and stuff like that look up apex battery straps they have this gumball glue on the inside and i mean that battery's not coming out of there now i could see if you got it super muddy and wet as you're swapping out batteries it may not stick as well so that could be an issue I love how the battery straps come through, but they go inside the slider. They're not underneath. My Vanquish, I'm thinking, how long's the battery straps? And how often are they going to snag things as you're going along? Man, just the attention to detail on this thing. I mean, even the cross members, the sport members, the little, little where they shaved them. Let me expose the raw aluminum underneath. And you guys know how red cats are so loud. You ready for this? What? It's silent. This is that newer radio that was introduced, I think, with the original accent. Check this out. It's a little LED light. You get out there in the trail, you need yourself a little... I mean, it's not very bright. But if you're in total darkness, that's quite bright. 
digital trim on everything. That's nice. It's got four channels too. I've got that that one another one of those uh um servo winch things that I accidentally bought and it was too small those are old micro one or whatever. I think I got a bracket and stuff. I don't know. I, I was never able to get the thing to mount. But it, it's set up. Here's your fair lead hole. You need to get a you know a fair lead on the outside. That is nice. But anyway, you got three channels or four channels. I don't know what three three is just a kind of on off. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. And of course, channel four has got a neutral. So you can go, you know, forward, winch out, and back for winch in. Bull rubber. Yeah, that, that servo. I, I have no plans. It's all metal, waterproof, plenty enough power. Easily, thank you. Finally, one that I can re easily, easily get my thumb on. I mean, naturally. Pretty cool. I am super, super impressed with this thing. Wow. That little fusion motor inside there. It's just everything's so quiet. No. Of course, I'll take everything. And you can quick release. You can change it, set it at a 20% underdrive in the rear. And it comes with all the gears to set it to 10 or 0. Just take these two screws out. You, of course, you got to drop your shaft out of the way. And uh, just thump, thump, pop the gears in. Book explains in, in detail how you do it. Wow. Mom, are you giving up on your craft stuff in there? Oh, that's my drawing before I can do oh, something else. You're in a drying mode. Too much stuff in the way to uh, do something else. Gotcha. On the, on the oh. Did you know I was recording? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I <laughs> that's cool. I'm sorry. So just some plexus. So it was just mud. If you look really close, there's a little bit of scuffage on there, but yeah, she's good. No harm, no foul. I got lucky on that one. I love the. the it's almost like they're the the emblems, the stripes are. It's almost like they're um, metal. You notice that the color on that? Yeah, it's pretty. It's all perfect. Do you notice the, the row bars on the inside? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I think it's got them in the back, too. Yeah? Yep, got them in the back. Oh, no problem. Houston, we got problems. <laughs> anyway, I think we should probably go out there and play with this thing. If it's not still pouring down rain. Man, am I impressed. Holy moly. Crazy impressed. Hmm. Red cat. Man. You guys are stirring things up. <laughs> this is the first time ever rolling on dirt. Brand new tires. Yeah, everybody says you need to trim them fenders. They don't hit that bad, but they make a lot of noise. Oh, yeah. I have nothing out here to challenge this thing. This is almost an embarrassment to take it out here. Oh, I see the dogs have messed up some boards here. I might I might have some problems getting across here. The accent a scent says no problem. Man can't get over how good that thing looks. Holy moly. 
Boy, that fusion motor is punchy on this thing. Really punchy. Man, the reverse is brutal on this thing. I mean, the slightest touch, and that puppy's, she's flying. You mess something up with this thing. You had some very uh, controlled uh, throttle here. I'm going to be in trouble. I'll be sending this thing flying God knows where. I just can't believe how good that thing looks. And a red cat that's crazy, crazy quiet. What is the deal? Getting used to how how this control feels. Oh, yep, definitely underdriven on the driven on the rear. You get sideways on a hill because rear wheels aren't turning as fast as the front. So go uh, go a spin. Let's see if we can do something weird and just go sideways over this thing. Now I'm a little gun shy of the reverse. Make it over there, yeah. A little grinding here and there, that's cool. Yeah, she's punchy. She's good and punchy. Incredible turning rays. I haven't even checked endpoints or, or nothing on this thing. I <laughs> just fired it up and here we are. And of course that lovely fusion motor. You can just crawl so slow. Oh yeah. There's like no traction on, on these boards out here. That thing's incredible. I think on that. Probably rattled on enough today to make two vlogs. So I hope you think this thing's cool. I am super impressed. I can't wait to get out on a dry day and play. Look how the carbon fiber is glowing on that chassis back there. Mm, she's so good looking. And it's so smooth. A little little punchy reverse though. <laughs> but anyway, on that. I'm going to roll. Hope you guys like it. That thing is some kind of cool. All right. We'll go to the pre-recorded uh, goodbye from earlier today. <laughs> Here we go. Well, hello there, you two. <laughs> Despite the the sun in the background, it's pouring down rain. We decided to do the, the uh, goodbye right now. I haven't even pulled the uh, truck out of there. So anyway, it was a good day at work. And uh, everything went went smooth there. Kind of bummed, my, my wheels never showed up. But uh, it's about to come down. The girls out there are gonna be freaking out here in a second because there's a black wall coming. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna cut the goodbye short and sweet tonight. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday, Wednesday. Heck yeah. All right. Let's get the girls before we get wet too. I know. It. All right. All right. Thanks for watching now. Bye bye.